The fifth and final day of the Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week got off to a shaky start with some heavy morning showers. Fortunately, the rains did not last for long as the sun shone bright, allowing all the matches to get underway. The unofficial final of the Coke Week was once again contested between Western Province and Gauteng, this time at the world-famous St. George's Park in front of a partisan crowd. Due to the rain, the match was reduced to 44 overs per side. Having been put into bat, Western Province's Reuben Fortune and Gavin Kaplan made a good start. However, a lethal spell of 4 for 10 from Vian Milder, followed by some impressive leg spin from Mike Mathaba, saw Western Province dismissed for 162 in the 42nd over. A composed half-century from captain Tony Bezorzi and a fiery cameo from Farhan Sayanwala saw Gauteng home in the 40th over. A relatively comfortable six-wicket win in the end for Gauteng, who cruised to their third consecutive unofficial Kopi title. Uh, yeah, the wicket got quite flat. It was easier to bat on. Um, Vasconcelos and myself knew that we just had to give ourselves a, a bit of time and then uh, the part-timers would come on and it would be a lot easier to get some runs. As one of the youngest players at the week, 16-year-old Gauteng leg spinner Mike Mithlaba was named the Coca-Cola Hero of the Day for rising to the occasion and taking three wickets on the hallowed St. George's turf. First two opening bowlers, I mean they, they got us through very well, uh, dancing it out and yeah it was good. And while well, my bowling, catching on the boundary, a very good batsman and I got him out, it was, I was quite happy. There were seven other matches that took place on the final day. Dean Foxcroft took his wickets tally for the week to 18 as Northerns defeated KZN Inland. Northern Cape defeated Namibia in their low scoring encounter. An unbeaten 96 from Ruan Hasbrook helped Northwest get the better of Limpopo. Southwestern Districts finished off an impressive week with a win over Mpumalanga. Okuthe Krele bagged four wickets to set KZN Coastal up for a win over Eastern Province. Amazing figures of 10 overs, 7 maidens, 3 wickets for 6 runs from skipper Sean Whitehead saw Free State down Boerland. And a superb unbeaten century from Michael Weldon ensured Easterns finished their week off on a high. Then came the announcement of the all-important SA Schools team. Victorious Gauteng skipper Tony De Zorzi chosen to lead a side that once again features Dan Khalim, Kyle Verain and Sean Whitehead. That was followed by the announcement of the South African Under-19 squad that will head to the ICC Under-19 World Cup in Bangladesh to defend their title in February 2016. Lawrence Mahatlani has a settled look to his young outfit, with most of the players having featured in the SA Under-19 team already. There must be a lot of uh, disappointed youngsters who would have felt they were close to selection or could have made it. At the end of the day, the selectors have got to put their heads together and pick whom they believe to the best uh, 11 or 15 in a squad. Uh, but you know, there was the example of A.B. de Villiers, never made an Under-19 World Cup side. Uh, today he's one of the world's, or is, arguably the best batsman in the world and look what he's achieved uh, putting in more hard work. That's a wrap from the 2015 Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week, another superbly organised event with some scintillating schoolboy cricket. Remember the faces, remember the names, these young gentlemen are the proteas of the future. The Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week, where heroes are made.